we're going to start with our NIM game and then change it so that it can play tic-tac-toe. And you'll notice that the, uh, um, the structure of the program is nearly identical. Uh, so I'm going to start by making a copy of this, of this notebook and then call it the tic-tac-toe game. All right, and of course it's not going to be that way. Okay, so the first thing, set player to, to one, that's the same. Set the initial state, it's no longer a number of objects, but it's the board. And we're going to use a list of, 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 of uh, numbers. Um, and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to say 0 equals empty, 1 equals x, and 2 equals uh, o. It's a lot easier to work with numbers. Computers like them a lot better than letters. So, so we, and we're just going to do it as a line 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. zero. 0, 0, 0, and this represents the board positions, and I'm going to just, you know, put some comments on here, position 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, and then position 3, 4, and 5, and position 6, we're going to be using this a lot, 7, that's why I'm taking the time to do it, um, and so just to put some Okay, so there's our tic-tac-toe board, and these represent, uh, uh, you know, so, so this is the zeroth position, this is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth, and they're all empty, so they'd all start like that. If we started with x in, the, uh, uh, in square one, we would in fact start with something that looked like that. Uh, if, we, if we wanted an O in square eight to start with, we would put a two over here, but, but we're starting with a board that's empty. Okay, and we need to kind of you know print the board. So this is here. Here we want to kind of um, we're going to want to make some some functions for doing this. Um, so let's imagine something called like show state or something like that, and we'll call it uh, and and we'll give it this the the, the state, uh, which in this case is the is the board. Um, and that function can look like let's let's go to our little playground here um, and actually I'm going to uh, um, place that place that back in just to get rid of that stuff okay um, let's go back into our little playground here let's make a, a, a function that says you know show state okay given the state and pretty much all I want to do is just do this, you know, uh, uh, print um, states of zero, states of one, states of two, and then we'll do three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Now we can we can easily make this look nicer, but for right now we just want something that that may work. So let's just, so so let's run that and then and then uh, that just defines it. It doesn't actually run the, the function, but we can do uh, zero one one two two zero 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 zero, and it'll print out like that. Um, so there's two x's there, two two O's there, and then all the rest are, are, are empty. Uh, we could make it print out a little nicer, but that's 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 how we're gonna gonna do it for right now. Okay, so that so so and let's move this guy. Um, let's let let's move him up. So uh, Move cell up. There we go. And there's probably a shortcut for that, but I'm just going to put it up above. So that way it's going to be defined when we want it. Okay. So now we have, you know, print the player. What is your move? And this part of it is, you know, what are the valid moves in tic-tac-toe? I'm not, I'm not sure right now. So for right now, I'm going to just... Uh, um, um, uh, 
in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right? So it has to be somewhere on the board. Uh, that's not, obviously, we don't want that uh, uh, permanently, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do that. Okay, update the state. So update the state. We're no longer subtracting. A state is, is a board, and it's a list. And, and we're moving at um, yeah, a particular position. So, so state at that position should be equal to the player. So essentially when, when it's player one, the state will, will be replaced at the, with a, 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 with a, a one. Um, otherwise, it's going to be replaced with a two at that position, the position that I give for the, that I give for the move. Now, let's go back to... We're going to show the state. We can copy that. Now we can check for the win status. This one's going to be a little harder. So I'm going to I'm going to do the 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 following. I'm going to call. And we're going to need to make a, a function for this. Um, we'll call it win status, and it's going to take the state and the player. Okay, this is the updated state. Okay, and and then we can do things like if the status is equal to win, then the player wins. If the stat, oops, okay. Um, if the status is lose, player one loses, or, or whichever player happens to be. If it happens to be stalemate, which you can do in tic-tac-toe, then this prints out stalemate and the game ends so that's where the uh, um, the break comes in but again it's just you know check the checking the win status and then we switch to players and then the game is over and that's it okay so let's the only function we have to deal with right now is uh, win status so def win status given the state and the player and this is pretty tedious so I'm going to copy this little comment box down here so that I can refer to it. Uh, but pretty much, uh, you have to do something like the following. If, if the state at board position 0 is equal to the player, and state at board position 1 is equal to the player, and the state at board position two is a player. That's a win. Return win. See, I'm not sure whether there's any way to lose when you move, and so that so I don't think there'll be any 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 lose lines there. Um, but then we're going to have a bunch of different ones of these. So I think we have uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to have that many. To do, and it's just a matter of outlining them all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero, three, and six. So the vertical. One, four, and seven. One, four, seven. Two, five, eight. And there may be a way to do this more cleverly, but in this case, one, zero, four, eight. In this case, I would say the amount of time it takes for me to do this once is not too bad. Okay, so that gets me that. Gets me that. Now, there's no lose, but there could be a stalemate. So how do I check for a stalemate? Basically, I look for any zeros. If there are no zeros, if it's gotten this far and there are no zeros, that would have to be a stalemate. So I can simply just go through for position in range 9, so I'll go 0 to 8, if state at the position is equal to 0, we can just return nothing. And if we got through all that, we can return stalemate. So this pretty much 
you know, if, if there's any empty square at all, we'll return and get out of this function, return nothing, and uh, otherwise we will return stalemate, because in order to get through this entire thing, um, it would have to be it would have to be a, um, uh, a, a stalemate. So we can try. It's good to so I just executed that. It's good to check win status for a couple for a number of different boards. And again, I'm going to copy this nice uh, uh, little comment field so that I can remember which which one's which. So let's start with an empty board. And player one returns nothing. That's good. Now, what if I do one, one, one? It's a win. Okay. Now, if I won two, one, it's nothing. Uh, but if I do uh, two there and two there, and it's player two, they just moved, it's a win for player two. Now, if I do one and one, and two and one and one and player one it's a win okay so let's, let's change one of those to player two which one is got it okay i'm going to change this one to player two and uh there you go okay so now we have a stalemate when we don't have a, a when, when we don't have a, a diagonal or or anything else so the, so when the board's completely full and there's no winning position we get a stalemate that's good. Okay, so now I can I can take this whole board, exit out of that, exit out of that, bring that back up here, plop that in there, and that'll work. And then the rest of the game should work. So let's see. So I'll execute that, execute that. What is my move? Let's do uh, three. And that worked. And then uh, uh, player two, where did you move? Five. Okay. And maybe it would be smart to put the uh, uh, kind of the board positions and so on on there. But um, but let's just keep going. Uh, move zero and move um, uh, two. And then what's the lowest one? Six. Six. Player one wins, going across. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, now we still haven't. We still have this issue with uh, um, the the valid moves. One way to do this is is to go through and kind of make a list of valid moves. It'll start off empty, and we'll go for position in uh, uh, range nine. Go through the whole board position. If the state at that position is zero, then that position is a valid move. So valid moves, we're going to append the position. And then when we have that done, we're going to do in valid moves. And if I, so if I do nine, that's an illegal move. If I do if I do 20, that's an illegal move. If I do 5, that's fine. But then when I try to do 5 with uh, 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 again for player 2, that won't work. So there we have it. Uh, we have the same structure as NIM, setting the player, doing the state, showing the state, getting a valid move, updating the state, showing it again, uh, printing out the getting the win status that may be more complicated, um, and then uh, switching the players, but but other than that, it's it's nearly the same. And we, but we have a few support um, functions for showing the state and for kind of doing the win status. And that is tic tac toe.